From NASCAR Cup Series racing all the way down to your local short track, Saturday night racing has been a staple of American motorsports since really its inception. And it's something that a lot of fans really love, and especially old school fans who want it to kind of be like that grassroots feeling. And when you see night racing in the NASCAR Cup Series especially, it is pretty insane to see how the light shimmers off of all those cars and just how different and how much faster everything looks. But if you're a more keen observer of the sport of the last couple of years, you've kind of noticed a trend. Night racing in NASCAR, especially the Cup Series, is definitely down. There's a lot less of them. And I think a lot of us are asking, why is this the case? Why are there seemingly less night races than we used to have beforehand? So that's what I wanna look into today. So starting off, we're gonna look at the NASCAR Cup Series schedule for 2022. Right here, we have all 38 weeks kind of set up, having everything ready to go. and. I want to look at some of the different reasons why certain tracks don't have night races just right off the bat. There's a really easy one to look at, and that is tracks that don't have lights. Tracks that don't have lights, for instance, are ones like Dover, Sonoma, Watkins Glen, Talladega, Road America, New Hampshire, Pocono, Indianapolis, and Michigan. That is 10 races of the 38 weekends right here that you take off the schedule that just can't have night races. And I'm not saying that that's anything that's different from before, but what I am saying is that right away, you're limited to the options that you have. Also, you have to think of what the providers have. For instance, with Fox, they have Saturday Night Baseball, so they have to be very selective on what Saturday night races they have over the airwaves. I remember back around 2008 where there was a bit of a confliction between, I don't remember what game it was, I think it was like Cubs Cardinals in 2008, and then the Phoenix race that year. And for a lot of people, if not everyone, I think the Phoenix race coverage actually started later because they had the game overlap with it. And Fox has done very well, I will give them credit, to keep that from happening again. There isn't really too much overlap anymore with Fox Sports coverage on Saturday Night Races with other sports. But it is a big reason why Fox doesn't do it as much, if at all, pretty much anymore, unless there's something they're trying to avoid. Then you have to look at NBC. NBC has tons of sports contracts, and now with NBC Sports Network gone, it's really hard to shift them to a different channel that is actually relevant. Yes, you have USA Network, but I'm thinking that if you're an NBC broadcast especially, it's gonna be hard to move it off that to somewhere like that, and you're probably gonna have to move it to somewhere like CNBC, which is not very good. And you have to look at the contracts that they have. For instance, they have Sunday night football with the NFL. Now, while that's not a Saturday night problem, that is a night race problem even for Sundays and is why we have less night races overall comparatively to than a couple years ago. And then with NBC, on Saturdays, a lot of the time, they have a contract with Notre Dame. So Notre Dame football games are going to be on Saturdays. And if they're on Saturday nights or very late in the afternoon, it's hard for NBC especially to get a Saturday night race for the NASCAR Cup Series setup. You also have to look at weather. Spring and fall nights can be very cold. I went to Martinsville this past year and it was in the 30s pretty much the entire night after it rained and it was pretty miserable for a lot, if not everyone who was there. It wasn't terrible, but at the same time, when you look in the fall, I went to Kansas in 2020 and it was damn near in the 20s in that and that was unbearable. So that really constricts you to probably mid to late spring through the early fall. And then you have to look again at tracks that don't have lights and you're looking at a lot smaller of a pool than you were to have before. Now there's a couple other things that you can look at right here as well. NBC has coverage of all of the races from Talladega through the finale at Phoenix. That's the final six races, which means that they have to finish before Sunday night football starts up at night. So there's no night races there. And they're going to have to have it on the main NBC channel on Sundays to get maximum ratings. TV ratings overall are maximized for NASCAR when they're on Sunday afternoons. They just traditionally have better ratings. Saturdays have lower ratings in general for all sports compared to Sundays. And 
that doesn't change whatsoever for NASCAR. In fact, later in the afternoons on Sundays has proven to be a winning formula for NASCAR in the last couple years. Even though I love noon starts, I have to admit that's what it is. Now, there's some other races that can't move as well. Crown Jewels, like the Daytona 500, Coke 600, and Southern 500 are going to always be run on Sundays now, especially the Southern 500 being brought back to that date. I don't think they're going to mess that one up. And they haven't traditionally run any of their first six races at night in the schedule since the start of the chase and playoff era. So that's five to six races right there you have to take off. And now we've proven with higher ratings on Sunday afternoons, the spring Richmond race actually is a hit on a Sunday afternoon viewership compared to a Saturday night, and it ensures it to be on Fox as well. And then you have to look at other reasons why Saturday night races just are not very plentiful anymore. And a big part of that is that a lot of tracks that hosted these races are either off the schedule or changed immensely or moved to different parts of the schedule that are away from their traditional Saturday night race slots. Chicagoland and Kentucky are not even on the schedule anymore. The Charlotte Oval is off the schedule in place for the Charlotte Roval, which is run on a Sunday afternoon on NBC. And then now Richmond has been moved from its traditional date it's held for decades in mid-September to early September on a Saturday night to a Sunday in August. And this is a growing trend too. I think a big reason for this trend is because it's the way the networks are going. I went back to the start of the playoff and chase era in 2004 and looked at every scheduled Saturday night race. And it was on the up and up in the early 2000s as a lot of tracks were installing lights for the first time and a lot of tracks were getting the opportunity to jump on primetime NASCAR viewership. And you look at 2004, there are five scheduled Saturday night races, which jumps up to seven for 2005 through 2007. And then from 2008 to 2014, you hit the peak of Saturday night racing for the NASCAR Cup Series. In those seven years, you have eight scheduled Saturday night races on top of your Sunday night races already. There was a lot of night racing going on, at least scheduled in that time period. But I really want to highlight that it only goes through 2014. And you know what else went through 2014? The old TV deal. In 2015, you went from eight scheduled races to six, and it jumped up to seven, but has since been on a steady trajectory downwards since 2016. And that coincides perfectly with NBC jumping aboard with Fox. NBC has moved a lot of those Saturday night slots to Sunday afternoons or had different races shifted on the schedules that eliminate those Saturday night races to try and maximize ratings. And you can say, yeah, well, this seems to have happened since the pandemic started, but this was planned well before 2020. When you look at the 2020 schedule, which was made, of course, in 2019, there were only four scheduled Saturday night races, and now you've went down to three with the elimination of Kentucky in 2021. And that's what we currently sit at. But I don't think that night racing doesn't have a place in NASCAR. I think you can actually maximize night races to get better ratings as well. And this is where NASCAR needs to move going forwards. See... Sunday night races actually do very well. They actually, a lot of the time, outperform Sunday afternoon races, especially when they're scheduled on Sunday nights. And when you look at the count of night races overall this year, and I mean actual night races, not just day to night or ones that can go long and get into the night. I'm talking actual scheduled night races in the points-paying season. There are seven of those races this year. Sunday night races like the Coke 600, Southern 500, and Bristol Dirt Race have proven in the last couple years, and of course this year with the Bristol Dirt Race, to be massive hits, and I think that that might be the formula. You see that NBC has done that with their first race of coverage in 2022 with Nashville, where they've moved it up to 5 o'clock as a start time instead of like a 2.30 or 3.30 start time. So I think that might be the way to go. I don't think night racing is dead in NASCAR's top series by any means, but I think it's going to have to evolve with the times in order to get the maximum viewership. Now, 
I've talked about maximum viewership a lot on this, and you might be thinking, who cares if the ratings are up and down? Let's just watch the cars look cool. Well, the reason you care is because you get better coverage, better deals, and the sport is healthier with more people watching. So if night racing can be changed in a way that we can see more of this, more growth with it, I think that that's the way to go. And I'm going to be real. I think that in the coming years, the Daytona regular season finale and the Bristol night race will be the only two Saturday night races left on the schedule. What gets eliminated? Martinsville's night race. I think that gets moved back to Sunday as the only reason I think they were moving it to Saturday night this year was to avoid the U.S. Open. And they ended up getting a rain delay and horrible ratings because of it. They got similar ratings to that of what NBC got with the Richmond night race in the playoffs, which was traditionally and routinely the lowest watch scheduled race of the season, getting well under 2 million viewers when the rest of the races around it were exceeding that number. Night races on Saturday nights just don't work anymore. And that is why they don't run as many Saturday night races anymore. Now with that, I want to pass this on to you. Do you want to see more night races on Saturdays or would you be cool with Sunday night races? Let me know down in the comments below. While you're at it, leave a like on this video, share this video, and subscribe to my channel for more great NASCAR content, talking about plenty of subjects, including stuff like this. And to all my channel members, thank you for all of your support. So until next time, have a good one.